And let's see, how many of you wore green? Oh, Kathy, you look lovely. Nice, Steve. Yes, Rhea. Awesome. And Jennifer, Rich. Thank you so much, Cheeky. Thanks for making it fun and wearing green. And I love that hat, Fontaine. Now, the last thing, we want to make sure that you can see the entire show big and pretty. So everybody go back to speaker view. And we are going to enjoy the show. Have fun, you guys. Thank you, Magic Genie. Majinga O'Finnegan here. Can everyone hear me well? Yes. Perfectly. Oh, it's time for a little bit of colorful magic, just for you. <laughs> Thank you. That wasn't it, though. I need that. Ooh. Majinga O'Finnegan with whiskers on my chin again. Watch the scarf. Magic. Mm, very nice. Wow. Oh, you like that one so much, I'm going to do it again for you. Oh, and a flower for the magic genie. And no spring magic is complete without our beautiful little birdie, Paloma. Paloma. And how are you this day, Paloma? Ah, oh, looking good. A little bird just told me we're going to have a heck of a time this evening. Wave hello to everybody, Paloma. And in a moment, she's going to help us. Right now, you stay right up there on top of the magic bean pole. <laughs> How have you all been, by the way? Uh, it's been a month since I've seen some of you, but it sure is great to see Linda Lopez. And Valerie Kenyon, all the way from the East Coast. We have quite a few East Coasters here this evening, as well as a couple of celebrations. And we would like to thank all of you for being here. Are you up for a little bit of Irish magic this evening? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, a lot of magicians do card tricks, but this is real Irish magic. We're celebrating an Irish spring. <laughs> <laughs> well, a it's a choice. nice clean oh, I like act, I promise you. <laughs> so if you just feast your eyes on this, I'll show you why we call this magic vision. <gasps> Whoop! <clears throat> Whoa! Oh. <laughs> and there's <sighs> no camera tricks whatsoever. <laughs> All righty, now that we're on our way, I think it's time for me to tell you about something very important to the Irish people. He was the head of the gods in Ireland, known as the Dogda. He had several magical implements. One of them was called Dogda's Pot, an ever-filling cauldron. With this cauldron, he could feed all the land of Ireland. Mm. Well, let's say that wasn't quite enough for all the Irish people. He was a magician as well, this Dogda. He also had a magic harp that he could change the seasons with. Mm. Not to mention his pot would always refill by magic. He also had a special club. He could whack people with this club and he could kill the living with it or bring the dead back to life. But we're not going to do that one. <laughs> Are you getting the fact that Dogda's pot is a magic pot? <laughs> and Dogda, he is going to help us row that bean pole tonight. We might even get to climb up to the top of a rainbow and catch a leprechaun. Would you like that? Yes. Yeah. Well, there will be lots of surprises in yeah. the show this evening. <laughs> Magic Genie, was that you? No, that was me. <laughs> 
I could have sworn I heard a leprechaun just then. Did you find folks hear anything? <laughs> vaguely. Okay, yes. Vaguely. That's yes. good enough. Uh, let's just let that go and look inside my box of tricks.